Well, on the other side of the state, many communities are battling excessive amounts of rain. In Yankton, a flash flood has been issued. But as Kelly Land's Dan Santella shows you on the night beat, the flood water is already pretty high. Flood water flowed over closed streets and gushed along Marne Creek in Yankton today. Gerald Hartz of Yankton says it has been more than three decades since he saw flooding like this in town. In 1984, it got right up here to the patio, but it didn't get in the house. He says this year is similar. It's probably about the same, except uh, school is not flooded yet. In 1984, we had knee-deep water in the Webster School here. Okay, sounds good. We had to carry all the books and everything. Cami Friedenbach lost power at her home. It was stressful because I thought it wasn't going to go back on for a while, and we have to clean out the basement because it flooded. She wasn't alone. Brad Winadi with Northwestern Energy says in Yankton, around 200 customers were without power today. We had a lot of issues today with flooding. Uh, really started about uh, about the noon hour, maybe early afternoon. Uh, several places had floodwaters that basically got into our, our transformers. When I talked with him at around 8 o'clock tonight, he said few customers in Yankton were without power. In Yankton, Dan Centella, Kelloland News.